Hello and welcome in You Think in My Wishes. My name is Anna and I would like to say hello to all my viewers. I mean, most of my viewers, uh, which I know, they greeting what? <laughs> Guten Tag in German, Namaste in Nepali, Hindi, um, Dzień Dobry to my Polish uh, viewers. Strastvuti or Privet to my Russian Ukrainian viewers. Um, bonjour to my French viewers. Um, what else I know? <laughs> I know. Kibanie in Kroll. How are you? So, guys, welcome in my podcast, Needing in Mauritius. And uh, as just for special beginning, I just greeted everyone uh, in different languages. Um, I hope you well, and I hope you enjoying the time of um, holiday season soon coming. I believe in all the big world. You have already uh, Christmas decorations everywhere around in the shopping centers and um, you can buy your Christmas decoration already uh, because your Thanksgiving uh, is passed already and the uh, big Black Friday is gone already. <laughs> so um, now there are another more religious, I mean, for us, uh, for some part of people, it's a religious uh, celebrations coming up. And um, yeah, and uh, I record this uh, two days before end of November uh, because I also want to show you something which I did very special for December. Um, and I would like to uh, again say sorry that I'm not so uh, frequent now with my uh, podcasts. Uh, but this is not an excuse, but I also see many podcasters are having uh, big gaps now between the recordings. Um, for me, it's very uh, few things I like to create. So I'm sitting and eating a lot and uh, do new things and create new fabrics garments not only the patterns for from another people but also something free hand of for myself uh, i like to i'm a lot with my kids um, my small one as you maybe remember is homeschooling online schooling and my bigger one just decided also he wants to uh, use this opportunity to learn from home where is uh, less distractions and um, I must say my first one is profiting a lot from this uh, way of learning so we are in process now to change also for our bigger son um, which will give us also I think in the future more flexibility into traveling and uh, we're not so restricted with these times with timetable and um, yeah I think it will be beautiful time especially the next two years and then we see what the future will show um, so let's go to the knitting content of the podcast as it is a knitting podcast fiber loving con uh, podcast it is a podcast where i'm talking what i did needed what i have in plan to need and how much i love yarn and holding in it in my hands mm, for the beginning i will show you what i i mean i will show you mainly what i finished to knit already because I my working progresses are related right now to a, a Christmas market I'm taking a part this year in a Christmas market and uh, 
decided to need some Christmas ornaments, uh, some pullovers, uh, some hats, which I will like to show you also in the following podcast before, which I will record before going to the exhibition. And I hope it will work well. And when not, then I will have uh, many, because what I do always, it's something which I could even keep for myself or I could uh, gift to my family and best friends. So um, I do always, when I need, I do something, everything with my heart, with my good feelings and uh, I put so much en energy into my knitting that it, when I even will not sell the products, I will keep it them or I will give them to very special people. Um, yeah, so let's start with the what I'm wearing now. It is, uh, as you can, most of you, you can recognize, it is the Ranicula's pattern from Midori Hiroshi and uh, it is needed in a silk yarn. Um, of course, as by nearly by, I think by one ranunculus, I didn't make any mistake. By, but by all of them, I just missed some row and then I need to wiggle because I didn't like to go back. So I, this, this line here, I miss it. Well, here, I think it's supposed to be here. This line is here, so this line is supposed to be here and the increases following with it should be earlier than here. Uh, so, but for me it was okay, I realized I'm uh, not having enough stitches in this part where I wanted to already split for sleeves or give the next step, the reglan step. Um, so I just did the increases and later by blocking, washing and blocking the garment, I uh, pull it a bit stronger. Anyway, what was uh, the um, plan with this top was to have a very airy, very light and very big, I mean, it's sort of oversized uh, ranunculus. Um, or another top, but it was that I knew I can do this in four to five days. So I uh, did the ranunculus for this pattern, for this yarn. I was having three skeins of 50 grams of the silk yarn from uh, Labier Anime. Uh, and the color, the picture of the yarn, I would just... Uh, Put here you can see it now um, I will also what I want to mention I will also um, put all descriptions of things what I'm showing today on the podcast all the time when I'm uh, doing podcast I'm putting the um, description of the yarn of the patterns and some ideas below this movie there is a little sign you can click it on it and then you will find all the um, links also to the shops where i bought the yarn so this yarn was on um, all the um, i chose the color and this was on order so la biana may took a few longer days more few more days than normal shipping time to uh, uh, dye the yarn and um, I ordered three skeins and I used nearly all three. This is this what is left from this yarn. It's speckly yarn. It's, uh, the base is, I always say white. It's not creamy, it's white. And it, there is yellow, light green, light bluish and pinkish. Uh, and orangey speckles in this yarn. So this, um, uh, I didn't see a lot of difference between the three skeins. One of the skein was the base, the yellow base, the white base was a bit more yellowish. So I put it on the bottom 
uh, of the top. I will stand up now and I will show you the um, um, changes I did to this top. So this is one change because it was a mistake, but I didn't want to have the mistake. Um, but it, it is here. Uh, I did um, the increases here for the size I didn't have done for my size. I did much more oversized um, because I wanted to put it, put this top on my big summer time on my bikini and just have a lot of light feeling on uh, me with the uh, top and a lot of uh, and as you can see, my belly is uh, getting bigger and bigger. I'm not pregnant though, but um, you can see that um, it's a beautiful top. And uh, where the another color of yarn was coming up, I was um, um, knitting two rows with the second skein and two rows with the new skein. And um, what I realized, I realized that I, uh, okay, what I did, I did split the uh, bottom of the ranunculus. I did need the back side a bit longer than the front side. I didn't make the normal um, uh, pattern that she's suggesting. Uh, it's, it's about from here to, to here. I did longer, I wanted to use maximum of the yarn and also on the back and I did just knit straight down. But what I realized, I was always thinking I'm very consistent with uh, when I knit in the round and when I knit flat later on. But I realized that the gauge is changing quite a lot. So for the next, as you can see, where I started to knit a um, um, flat, uh, the stitches, the gauge change quite a lot. You can you can really see it. I tried to block it, but um, definitely it's uh, visible where I was knitting flat. Um, I don't mind for to to wear this on this top, but definitely for future knittings. I will be uh, changing my needle size. I will be changing into smaller needle size, just that uh, when I purl, I don't, obviously I, I, I purl looser than I need in the round. So I will be changing uh, needle size for next time when I will have to change from round, knitting in a round to knitting in a flat, I will change the needle size just to make sure that it looks beautiful and not being lazy with changing needles. <laughs> so this is a, a ranunculus which I'm wearing today and I'm wearing a lot um, in the, for the moment. This yarn is uh, silk, but it is uh, with a little knobs. Maybe you could see here. It's not really silky, shiny silk. This uh, silk called Silk Noir, N-O-I-L. Uh, some people say uh, bio, bio uh, um, silk because it is made out of the leftovers of the normal buds which you have by silk. So this is what it stays in the between the larves. They take the people take it and they do this kind of uh, silk. So this is hundred percent silk, but it is silk noir, noir, no ear, no eye, something like this. Um, um, you can read about this yarn on La Bielle Me, but many companies I can see they have this yarn uh, also. Uh, the another garment which I did in the meantime, it is the agave uh, top, um, and it is also made with silk noir. 
I will put it soon on just that you can see it because I will uh, but I'm taking it now just to show you the yarn here I uh, was holding two two of here I was holding one strand of the yarn but here I was holding two strands of uh, two different uh, colors of Ito yarn which I will just show you uh, because I think I will change this top to this top just that you can admire the beauty just a second here I am in my another top uh, in silk noir and um, I will start to explain just bef after I will show you the beauty again of the uh, ranicolas not on me just on the you see sometimes this is yellowish spots and then the yarn is normally whitish more whitish but I love it uh, I love the speckles and I love the lightness of the garment so this was the ranicolas uh, made with Lapin anime uh, the silk noir and uh, I used three skeins um, now this top I did also um, very recently because I realized this Silk Noir is amazing yarn and I was having this uh, Ito yarn at home uh, and this I, because it's hot here and it's uh, summer time uh, so I need some light things and I realized my wardrobe is very heavy in um, um, merino, uh, my favorite, uh, um, alpaca, suri, yarns, and very often also in ah, yes, in my I love. Uh, the mink and I like the uh, love very much the angora rabbit angora yarn. So I have a lot of fluffy, lot of heavy, lot of uh, wintery styles uh, garments, and I decided to for the summer to make for myself some lighter, lighter garments which I can wear it now because it's really, really, really hot, and I can put these things on on my body. Uh, okay, with something under because it's very see-through, both of them. But I can put on my bikini, I can put on um, the top, which I just have normal white top, which is not uh, keeping me hot. Um, yeah, and I can go out like this uh, from home and not feeling hot and not feeling weird that I'm wearing my needed, um, even super wash, uh, or sock yarn uh, um, garments because they really really too warm and they're not fit to this moments right now it's really hot right now and humid um hi summer so this is uh, the i will just tell you this is the agave uh, from dandon uh, by Yumiko Alexander. That's the name of the designer. That's her here. And, and the top called Agath. And as you see, this is very beautiful, very beautiful top. I like the moment where this first uh, lace pattern is creating this tip going into the garment and it's changing the shape of the garment it's not straight on the bottom um, this pattern is using um, five and a half millimeters needles which i did uh, but it's using dando linen 100 uh, percent linen yarn i Maybe I have linen yarn, but I didn't want to do with linen. I wanted, after working with this um, La Bianne uh, Silk Noir, and I ha was having this uh, Ito yarn, I wanted to have this top in silk. Uh, you can see 
my gauge is a bit, uh, I mean, my stitches are a bit smaller. Her stitches, her gauge is a bit bigger. And that's why I added more of this uh, lace patterns on the top. You're knitting it from the bottom up and then you adding the sleeves. Uh, my sl she got two versions of sleeves. Uh, she got this um, flatter sleeves, she called them, and she got long sleeves. I choose to do the flatter sleeves, but again, I was um, changing something to her pattern. Uh, in her pattern, you're picking up the stitches uh, along the hole for which is uh, given you to make the sleeves. You pick the amount of stitches and you need from the body to the bottom of the sleeve. Me, I did differently. I, uh, because she is using the one of the smaller lace on the sleeves, I wanted to have the, the same effect as here on the body, but on the sleeves. So I counted the stitches. Uh, how many I need for three repeats of the of the lace and I did a separate um, sleeve which you can maybe see here it's looking like this three times the same the same pattern and um, I like it but I'm sure her sleeves are much better um how to say this much better laying down on the um on the garment um because i needed to seam later the sleeve to the bottom she is picking the stitches and knitting down so it's more um drapey i would say and my is not so drape especially in this point here but i after wearing a few times i'm sure after washing and so on it will be more drapey i like it like this i will show you how this top looks um from the close the situation i like the the fact that this is creating this in going and not straight um bottom part of the top uh, of the pullover then you have this it is really looking like a gaff like the cactus in the in the garden and how do i do this now and on the back you have the same pattern but you don't let me remove it on the back you have exactly the same pattern but you're starting a bit higher so you don't have the you don't have the ingoing situation you have straight line on the bottom this is the back side this is the front side one another no. modification what i did uh, she got more um i think two more repeats of this um of this rib here uh, on the top, but I didn't want to have too much rib. I wanted to have the more plain uh, effect and uh, that's why I added more of this uh, lace patterns here. And you have to seam the tops to the moment that you like, that your opening for your neck is uh, in the right position. And then I seamed the sleeves. You see, I need to still block it properly because it's it's still pulling a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not a great person in 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 uh, seaming garments. No, I don't like so much. But I must say, in this yarn, it went quite. Uh, 
I would say perfectly. Um, I, you need, but for this pattern, I will have to just mention one more thing. You are knitting this um, garment in two parts, front first, then the back, and then you're adding seaming and you're adding the sleeves. Uh, so my seaming, I must say, looks not too bad this time. So I'm learning, obviously, time is uh, amazing because over time you learning new new techniques and you by practicing the techniques you are getting better and better so this garment i i made it with holding okay, holding these two skeins these two yarns together these are both the itokumo and they are very uh, lace size yarns. So I hold them, these two colors together, which give this effect. And as I told you about this uh, uh, silk no I, no N, N O I L, this eco logische eco silk. Uh, it is made out of the leftovers from the from the buds. That's why it's giving this little effect of uh, thick and thin and and some 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 uh, some knobs happening in the yarn itself, which very often they not died. They're not dying properly. Um, so it's amazing effect because when you're working uh, the fabric, it's it's giving you interest. Sp and this Ito Kumo is having uh, in the yarn also. This is not a one color yarn. It is uh, slightly speckled, but I don't know if you can say this is speckled. It's a there is something in these yarns where you can see some very often, for example, in this one, there is a reddish spots. Of course, this is the white spots from the silk. So this yarn has this, there is a dark color in between. So this color have this uh, melange in the in, inside. And this, yeah, this yarn has more yellowy, a reddish pinkish spot very interesting it's giving a lot of interest so this gave me this kind of fabric i will give you a closer look um i was using the five and a half millimeters um like suggested i didn't follow the the gauge uh, i just i don't do gauges I just need and when I have to add some stitches I add stitches when I have to reduce stitches very seldom because um, normally I need tight this is first thing and second thing um, I like oversized I like bigger things than smaller things and when they're coming too small then I'm having things to give away Agaf, this is the top uh, knitted with five and a half millimeters, knitted with uh, Ito Kumo, and I will just tell you the mm, colors of the yarn. So this yarn, I'm sorry, I need to put glasses. So this yarn is um, uh, having 400. It's a, it's a little con. Uh, of a weight of 50 grams and in this 50 grams they are 425 meters in how much inch no idea because this this maybe it will be written on the second one yes 464 inch um, this um, papers are not so great because the writing is going away um, 
one of these yarns is colorway 0360 cayenne red and the another one is no idea the number is chili chili happy something like this so you can check on on ito ito um come products como kyu Kino, Kino, sorry, ito Kino, sorry, I'm Kumo, I always say kin, Kino, Kino, sorry, Kumo is something else, another product, Kino, Kino, ito Kino, um, I'm very sorry for this confusion, ito Kino, uh, <laughs> Kumo, it will be something else right now, I will show you another uh, Finnish garment, which I made it with, um, uh, yarn from La Bienne. But before this, I would like to show you the shawl which I did on my own. This is my own design. I will not write pattern because as you remember, I showed you this uh, shawl, I think when I started to knit. I started to knit from the small corner here. Um, and I was using the most amazing yarn, where is the ticket? Merino Cloud from Artians. And this was the Sea Baltic Sea collection. I don't know if you still ha can have this uh, uh, yarn. I remember when the yarn came out, I needed to have it. So I got it from uh, Fabulous Yarns um, website. And then I realized it's not enough for these things which I want to do. And she was not having any more this color way. And then I searched and uh, my beloved, beautiful, loved one by me. Uh, website uh, Tripians. Um, she was having few of these colors, and I was having um, okay. Merino cloud is eighty percent extra fine merino wool, twenty percent cashmere, and it is hundred gram. The skins are hundred gram of four hundred thirty seven yards and four hundred meters. Uh, so. This is a really, really amazing yarn. This will be for me uh, <laughs> um, garment, no garment, accessories for many, many years. So I started from the small corner here. I knitted only with this uh, one color. And then they got in collection also this bright it's not a pink it's not a red it's um what's this neoni color neoni pinky color so every few so i was i will explain to you how i did it every four rows i added a stitch in the beginning and on the end of the row so every four rows, the shawl was growing by creating also a eye cord uh, on the sides. And then after each while, when I was feeling like I did something different with this, which I was having one skein only. Here are two skeins of this blue color and one skein in, of the neoni color in this shawl. So three skins of uh, Merino Cloud from Artians. And every few um, blue rows, I added something with this neoni color. Um, increasing all the time every four rows. Here I did something uh, different. Some, let's say some waves in the Baltic Sea. I'm coming from Baltic Sea. I, 
I could walk there by foot from my parents' home. So that's why. So this is the another blue uh, color showing the maybe the storm there and uh, sundown. This is another way uh, I added the neoni color. And here I added again different way. That I don't remember what I did was doing here. I was knitting this uh, most of the shawl I needed in uh, my trip July, August, around when we have been in Europe. But I was not writing down what I did with this shawl. I, I just was continuing knitting. So this is the next part of the blue changing into white. I will say the waves <laughs> of the, on the sea. Then I added something like this with the um, neon. Then I needed for quite longer with the blue. I think I was somewhere in a plane or somewhere. And then I did uh, another pattern from dictionary, pattern dictionary. Then it was a longer part in a blue and I added this little holes. Here is a mistake, as you see, I forget to close the holes, but I will leave it like this. Uh, then it's again a bigger part of the blue. And then I decided to go into this uh, fan, fan, do you say fan pattern? Like a fan, fan, fan pattern. The big holes um, and uh, in between each uh, pattern, I made two rows of uh, with the blue yarn. I finished it with a blue and I did the eye cut bind off. So this is, for me, it's an amazing yarn, yarn, but amazing uh, pattern. It is very triangular. Um, so it is triangular in another way, long way, not the normal way, but you can wear it, it like this, like on the shoulders, which I like very much. We are wearing here things a lot on the shoulders in a, in a winter time, just to protect our shoulders, neck, because here it's never so cold. But you can also wrap it around. My friends were wearing already it in some restaurants. When we went out, you can wrap it around and you have your your shawl showing every in a few minutes some beauty of the uh, neon color. And um, yeah, I love it very much. I'm coming from a Baltic Sea. Uh, I could walk by foot from my parents' home uh, or from my school on the, how you call this when you, skipping a school. <laughs> Sometimes with uh, my group, we skipped the school and we went on the beach side there and we enjoyed. Um, it was a beautiful time to be there. It was also a beautiful time now to visit Baltic Sea. And this is a, not only a beautiful shawl to me, but it's an amazing yarn and amazing colorway. And it's reminding me of the... Um, of my childhood, of my of my corners. So this is the, the, the yarn, it was looking like this because I have one more skin. I mean, it's not full one because you see, there is this white, there is this pink, neon, dark blue, blue colors. Because I am, where is this? Now here. I kept this one and I have also a two Skins. This I will show you another time. I have also two skins in uh, mohair. Uh, Artians is doing this. Maybe I have the. No, I don't have the etiquette here. No. 
Atians is doing the um, two. What's the name? The is um, uh, mohe from Atians, which is two strings together, and they are running together, and they are uh, kid silks uh, mohes, and um, they call ombre. Um, and it's amazing yarn this i'm just showing you quickly now because it's a it's a mess and one day i will show you when i will be really working on this again so i'm i'm knitting a dress with this uh kid silk ombre and i'm adding some of this um merino cloud in between but it is splitted already for sleeves, but it's nothing to show yet. I just wanted to show you the beauty of the colors. So this will be a long dress. Now I'm coming to the darker points here, colors. It, it's good because it will cover my uh, lower part of the body. But this is the yarn which I'm, I will be using. Uh, I mean, I'm using, but I will be keeping for you to show you later on, not for the moment. Um, for the moment i have um another things to show you and i uh, need to have some i need to put some work in progresses on the side for uh, some time so this is this this is the shawl um i really love it i really really love it and it's covering nicely the back and it's covering the front and and it's Merino and cashmere and uh, oh so soft. Um, so this I finished um, end of August and I block it and but I was not showing you uh, many things in the meantime. So I will just I need to stop for a second and I will come back to you in a uh, two minutes. Excuse me, I changed again, but I needed to uh, drink something because it's so hot here and I don't like to drink in front of you here. So, um, yeah, one more, a few more things which I, two more things which I finish and which I'm about to finish uh, one thing and um, uh, show you and get your opinion about this. First is this is my own whatever creation it was uh, but also it's made specially for the summer time here uh, okay it's still very uh, hot even though that it's very very airy uh, i used here uh, six millimeters needles and this is the uh, alpaca silk from labi anime uh, the kumo this is the kumo a base um i will put here the picture now of the of the yarn in the name and because i i have only this left you can ah yes I, you can see it. it for me it was amazing i like pink orange light pink maybe so light whitish melange I like this so so much that I I got so much in love. I needed to have it. I bought two of them because I think there is 400 millimeters in one skein, and I bought two of them only uh, because I was thinking I will make a light with uh, lace because uh, garment very easy going on oversized with big needles um and um i didn't went for a because i didn't went for the normal um stitch like stocking stitch then i was suffering with because I was going just crazy wide and I wanted to finish this in four or five days. So that's why I was not really writing, thinking too much about this. So I was a bit lost on this reg raglan increases. 
and I could, let's say, control it better and have less uh, fabric on the sleeves here. And just need it longer. But I love this garment very much. Like it is. I like the. I, I told you already a long time ago, I like to wear tents, which have a lot of fabric, a lot of um, um, beauty in it. So, rich garments are in a fabric that's my garments. Um, sometimes, yes, sometimes I, I, I go a bit lower, I mute myself down. But I like color and I like um, to have a lot of tada on myself when I go out. When I'm at home, I don't do anything. I don't know. I, I'm watching a lot of now um, uh, information channels on YouTube while uh, knitting. <laughs> And I, I don't know, sometimes it's too so funny because I, I, I think it's a sort of fashion, but maybe not. Maybe it's like normal life right now that you looking in, into your body, into yourself or into your family members or, or loved ones um, for some dysfunctions. <laughs> so I think... I was watching something yesterday and I was um, about uh, HD, 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 this I, hyper thing. So apparently these people, the, even the adults, which have this HD, HD uh, disorder, they are very active outside and very calm at home. So it is me. You know, when I can be at home, I don't need to listen to your music. I don't need to, uh, I don't know, do crazy things. I just like, or, or phone. I like to phone when I'm driving on a loud on the speaker, but I don't like to phone people from home. Uh, in my home is my sanctuary. I like to have uh, peace and quiet and, um, and knitting and my own things my birdies which you must probably still hear even though that the windows are closed uh, I like my zoo my animals my family but you know very limited um, interactions with um, outside world so for our but when I go outside I need to be a bit tada so this is um, I use the stitch Knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, and you go around and around and around. And uh, but I was using the raglan, and this is the top made out of, of this kumo. Amazing, amazing yarn, amazing garment, very loose. I have only one problem, and uh, I need your little advice. Uh, here, I put one string of uh, on the end of this yarn and I made it sort of puff sleeve just to close this uh, opening here so that, you know, I can lift my hands and there is nothing visible. And here I still have opening. And I'm thinking to put this uh, you know, it's a quite big opening and I'm thinking still up to fix this yarn and also to make this sort of not puff sleeve, but just tight a little together that it's more, more together holding. So it is not too long. It is just covering my bum. But it is amazing for uh, bikini time and for home time now when we just wear very, very short shorts at home 
and when the stuff is around us um, uh, we are not exposing too much of our body and uh, yeah yeah but even though that it is so airy because the the um holes are quite big in between um even though that it's so loose for this climate here it's too hot um you know when i would be going let's say on a boat where is the air really going fast then i will need it but this we do twice in a season and um for to wear it at home inside i will need still a big aircon blowing on me uh, for the moment we are living only in aircon i can't go out properly when i go for shopping i need to get some uh, hydration pills and so on i am not coping well with the heat so guys i would like to ask you for a little help shall i do the sleeves like this or shall i keep them like open uh, this is just a small help i will need from you um beautiful yarn uh of course warm yarn and i must say aha uh -huh, i must say that i it was not looking like this this garment before blocking uh, i blocked it quite uh, strongly quite because i want to have it oversized item uh, you could keep it like it because it was quite nice um, when you need it and it was sort of like a one small ball of fluff you could skip it into a smaller size and not stretch too much and it will be more a garment that um, it's keeping you warm in the winter time but for me i wanted to have a airy huge oversized item which um i this is th that's my colors i love it this is this is amazing in the meantime what i did also i finish a few of these uh, pumpkins i know halloween is uh, finishing but uh, it, um, autumn is still there in europe and i did uh, one huge pumpkin which i kept one smaller pumpkin i used um the yarn from Nutigen, the orange one then i used um yarn from for the another colors i used yarn from uh, mantelopi then in between i hold it with a, a cotton which was changing color was also nice uh, I gave it one to my friend and one another one uh, person was get buying from me so I'm very happy uh, and I kept this two they are still standing in my um, table next to my my room and uh, we enjoying ourselves they enjoy me I enjoy them because I'm talking to them do you talk, talk to your animals and do you talk to your 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 uh, <laughs> knitted garments <laughs> i talk i i i i tell them how i love them now i would like to let's say announce uh, that on the 1st of december i will be publishing a new pattern and i didn't give this pattern for test meters and so on so there won't be uh, project pages and stuff on my I don't know this if this is needed obviously it's needed because many people when they need looking for new pattern they always go to the progress pages and on in on the pattern itself I don't do this too often I I don't know I just feel when I see something nice I need uh, so this pattern of the blanket it was not in testing because blanket is a huge need 
new, new, new process. Uh, so I will be publishing uh, on the 1st of um, December, Advent Calendar Blanket, uh, which you can need in four different sizes. There will be directions guiding you. I know people, this year I don't have any uh, of Advent Calendars. I was, um, to this one which I wanted to have, I was too late. Um, this year also, I must say, I was purchasing a lot of yarn, so I don't think I should buy an advent calendar and because I can take it from my stash every day, something new, and it will make me anyway happy. So for the moment, I didn't take anyone. But in the past, I uh, these two advent calendars which I'm using in the blanket, I it is an advent calendar from... Uh, pineapple yarns she is not dying anymore uh, and from chink fibers uh, so they both um, this about the same weight of yarn sock sock uh, size yarn and they chink fibers me skins are 80 meters and the pineapple yarns mini skins are 82 meters, but it's fine. This is all beautiful. So I put all both, long time before, I put both of these calendars together, 48 skeins on the table. And I made a plan how I want to combine these 48 skeins, how I want to work with them. And, uh, this is what I do. Where it is now? Here. So this is a part only of this um, minis in this plastic. They look amazing. So this is the pinks which I'm starting to finish now. Then it will go, I have a zipper bag. Then it will go to this brownish, yellowish, light brownish, orangey colors. Then to yellow. Then from yellow to light blue and green, and it will finish on on blue. I'm using um, Hasegawa Kid Silk Mohair in white to mute down the colors. Um, I didn't want to have a huge blanket, a twin blanket, which would be very flashy in color. So I'm using this uh, Hasegawa silk, uh, kid silk uh, mohair. I don't have enough. I just ordered from Lotus Yarns uh, to finish uh, the blanket with another white kid silk mohair. And uh, this is this this pattern will be called Riso Miso. It's just a imaginary name, Riso Miso, Advent Calendar Blanket. You can make it from six minis, 12 minis, 24 minis and 48 minis. All the directions will be written in the pattern itself. And it will be published on, on I think it's Friday the 1st. Um, so I will show you just part of this blanket. Part is blocked, this part is blocked, this part is blocked and um, this is not blocked but it's coming very closely to the size of the blocked um, blocks so each I'm sorry I'm blocking blocked here uh, each square is needed with one of the minis and each square is um, hold each yarn is held together with this white kid silk. For the moment, I'm working on this color. It's an amazing color, my color. But um, as you can see, I mute them all a bit down. So it will be a square blanket. No, it. It will be a blanket made out of squares. 
but you need them as you go. You don't attach them later. I mean, you don't do the square separately and you uh, seam them later. You do the squares as you go and you need them different ways. Um, that's mean you pick stitches somehow and you also attach to the next square, uh, the square from before. Um, it's a special stitch, which you can see when you work different ways, it's uh, appearing a bit differently. Um, so it, this pattern will be, for the blanket, will be uh, on published on the 1st December. It is for those people who, um, <coughs> I'm sorry, for those people who ordered and have some advent calendars for this year, you can start to knit from the first day or you can use all your minis from before and uh, you have and you can knit it. So Riso Miso pattern on the 1st of uh, December will be there for you. Um, for let's say for the first uh, week, I will give a 20% discount on this um, pattern. It will be automatically coming on the, um, on the web, uh, on the Ravelry store, so you don't need any code um 20 percent less and from then on you will have it in the normal price i would be very honored when you will be buying it or any supporting me on any of these uh, patterns which i publish from now of, up to now or when you will support me on a coffee prof uh, co-file co-file website uh, i thank you very much for already supporting some of you do and i'm very very happy and very thankful and uh, yeah it's christmas so let's spread some love on my side 20 percent of um on this come on my advent calendar and um i will uh, maybe do something else i don't know because it's uh, the shipping from Mauritius is very expensive and you know i ship to Mauritius than i ship from Mauritius. So it's a bit of drama always. Um, but I would like to thank you so, so much for being with me. And soon I will record a, a podcast where I would like to show you what I will part of these things, what I will be uh, selling on our Christmas market, um, which will be taking place on the 9th of December. And... Uh, I hope also this following um, um, podcast movie will uh, reach also Ma many Mauritian people because they can also see what they can expect from the market from my stroll. Um, thank you so much. I have many, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happened. Uh, I have many things uh, still to show you and still on my needles and still drying and still uh, not showed you f up to now but um and uh, but i hope i will be more regular but i can't promise it to you i thank you so much for being with me today i wish you a very beautiful beginning of december and december and christmas and hanukkah and um yeah another things which i know already passed um but happy life all the best to all of you and smile spread love to all your friends family and even strangers on the road bye thank you so much bye thank you for watching